Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media. In today's real user review, we're going to be taking a look at the Ethnotech Raha 30 liter pack with the Columbia thread on it. Now, to get this out of the way, right on top, I did continuously see advertisements for Ethnotech on Instagram and Facebook. So finally, I started looking into it a little bit. Hadn't seen or couldn't find much about them online. Hadn't seen anything about the prior seeing the ads. So I reached out to them, asked them if they wanted to uh, team up to do a review. Um, so finally, they got back to me and said, yeah, sure, we can definitely do that. We'd like to, uh, to see what you have to think about our packs. So they did send me this pack for free. But all of the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Ethnotech prior to publication. They will see this when you do. Now, uh, let's get into the quick spec rundown. The bag comes in at $209 USD, regardless of what thread that you choose. All of these threads are artisan made throughout the world. The bag is a full vegan construction. It is a 30 liter pack. And they say that the bag fits a 13 to 15 inch laptop. But we'll get into that a little bit later on. We're gonna continue on with our specs by showing you the layout of the bag. The bag has these interchangeable front threads, so you can remove this entire front panel, it changes with a different colorway, or the all black option has more pockets on it. So to do that, we're going to start by removing the compression straps, and then we're simply going to go back to the Velcro. And it also kind of fits underneath here and don't mind the sand we're going to get into that why there's some sand in here that was one of my uses of it but you can completely remove this thread and as you see it is just simply velcro here and the additional uh these compression straps that go on the side of the bag also not. and you can see right here there's this like pocket style flap where the actual tail of the thread is it's got like a something in there it's a little bit rigid it's probably just like a piece of thin piece of plastic or something and that goes into this little bit of a tail pocket which helps to lock the thread in place so if you want to change the thread you can buy these separately for about 60 bucks or so and they all have this ba same basic layout except the all black has additional pockets and then there is one that we'll get into a little later on that actually has uh, lashing straps well, the rest of them have these these uh, compression straps that uh, only have more of a, a pals-ish kind of style to them where there's just these two lashing points. And to reinstall it, we'll simply tuck the plasticky piece back into the bottom of the bag. And then we will just seed the Velcro all the way up. And then we simply reconnect the compression straps on either side, which will ultimately help to secure the bag if the Velcro, the thread to the bag if the Velcro fails. And there we go. And then on front of the bag, we have, again, our lashing points on top and bottom. We have one front zipper that is, it does fold out over and it does go the whole width pretty much between the two lashing straps, it's the, that's the height, and the width is basically the entire front of the thread. Then on the other side we have, oh, I already have it un unzipped, we have our admin pocket here, where we have this nice like artisan backed uh, fabric, which is kind of cool. It adds a little bit of thickness to it, so if you did put any kind of tech in here, it's slightly padded. Then we just have one stretch pocket that goes against a, uh, a fleece line backing so you can put anything soft in here like your cell phone or anything like that and that works back up and on the outside of that we actually have another little liner pocket here but it doesn't really have much of its own space so i've been using this for very thin things or potentially my pen or something throwing that in there on the other side of the bag you find our Dura Stretch water bottle pocket that is pleated. You can fit a fair amount of water bottles in here. It does get a little snug when you fit larger bottles in here, but you can fit a decent a size bottle in here. And then we have this external pocket that gives you internal access. 
Now this is great for getting things at the bottom of the bag without undoing the roll top, but uh, also you can use this as a camera bag and you would position your camera cube here so you can access your camera without going through the top of the bag. So that's really nice there. It's like a multi-function thing. If you're not using this as a camera bag, you can get better access to everything on the inside of your bag. If you are using this as a camera bag, you position your camera cube here and you have quick, easy access to grab your camera in and out. On the rear of the bag here, we have our laptop access and it is padded both front and back and it is fleece lined so your case of your laptop is going to stay protected you're not going to get anything scratched up here now they do say this fits a 13 to 15 inch laptop we will get into that a little bit later on but uh do know that you may have an issue here if we look down into the roll top we actually have two snap closures on either side that will help you to secure it if you have a oversized load you can actually snap it closed and be a little bit more secure and inside the bag which is really hard to see we do have a tablet sleeve along the back of the bag that is not padded and it does not have a false bottom and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag and on the front of that we do have a small mesh hard to see this like small mesh zipper pocket that's probably about six to eight inches wide and probably about four to five inches deep and that is a zipper pocket and you can close that up and that's it the rest is just it's just a dark tube that um, i can kind of see into because it does have a gray liner on the inside so i could see into it a little bit better than what the camera's picking up but it is still kind of dark in there and now let's get into the reason that you all came to this video the real user review part and as always we're going to start with the negatives and the very first negative is the laptop sleeve that i have twice now alluded to i have a 15 inch macbook pro and it does not fit inside this bag but instead of me talking about it let me show you 15 inch computer 30 liter pack it won't zip past this corner either. 30 liter pack, not even fully loaded out. It's pretty full, but there's still a lot of capacity left in this bag. And a uh, 15 inch laptop does not fit. So yes, in my EDCing of this pack, I could not carry my laptop in here because it simply did not fit. So um, if you have a 15 inch MacBook Pro, Please note that it's not going to fit in here. So if you have the newer 16 inch MacBook Pro, you have no shot of getting it inside of this laptop sleeve. But if you have a 13 inch or a tablet, you should be okay. Moving on. The next point are these two straps here where I did contemplate putting this into a neutral point because you can still technically lash stuff to the bag, but the uh, bag itself, the thread does not come with lashing straps because as I said, these are just more or less uh, loops for you to attach other things to like a carabiner or the straps that I will show you in a little bit, but they just kind of attach to the side. But one of the threads appears to have actual lashing straps attached to it. And I wish they did that across all of the threads and not just that one style. I feel like that would definitely add to the user ability of the pack. So it would have been a quick and easy function that they did incorporate into one of the threads, but only that one thread. So if they simply did it to all of them, it would definitely improve the uh, overall user ability of this pack. And next we have our admin panel where it doesn't actually have a lot of space to it. Most of the space pushes to the inside of the bag. Now, I was keeping a pen either on the outside of this pocket or the inside of this bag pocket, um, but mostly when I was in the city, I was throwing my battery bank in here uh, because I don't know New York City at all, so I needed the GPS on my phone quite a bit. And uh, when you're going into tunnels and the phone's struggling for uh, signal, it kind of wears down the battery. So I was carrying my battery bank in the city and this was the pocket I was sticking it in. And luckily I didn't have this bag totally packed out because it does push in and it's mostly, it's taking up internal space. There's no external dimension to this pocket. So I would like to see this to have a little bit more of its own dimension so it can, it can move outward instead of press inward into the bag, taking up internal space. And that's it for the negatives. And the biggest one being the laptop sleeve. For a bag that is built at a 30 liter pack, you could think that it would easily swallow up a 15 inch computer, but 
it does not. So when I was using this bag, I could not carry my laptop in it. So I'd have to switch out to a different pack if I wanted to carry my laptop. But we're gonna go into the points of note. And the very first one is something I thought was off in the beginning. And uh, it took me a couple of days to realize what was happening. And that is the way this bag closes. Normally a roll top rolls forward, which you can do. But now you have this black piece on the thread. But this bag actually rolls backward. So you can still see all of the thread. So it was interesting. The first couple of days, I was closing this pack and I was rolling it backwards because it just, that's the way it, it just seems like it should roll so you can see the thread across the top. And it took me a couple days to realize why that was weird because roll top bags normally roll down towards the front of the pack, which again, you can totally do and it looks fine, but because the thread extends to the top of the roll top, you roll it backwards so you can see it. And it just felt weird. And it took me like two days to realize I was rolling the bag backwards instead of forwards. And uh, it was just awkward because again, normally you do a roll top towards the front of the pack and this one rolls towards the back of the pack. It's not a big deal by any means, but it was just something that it took my brain. I, I did it instinctively correctly, but it, it took my brain a couple of days to realize what was wrong and why it felt off. But just a point of note, I thought it was more something funny than uh, anything that could sway you to buy the bag or not buy the bag. Next, we're gonna talk about the water bottle pockets. And I did say you can fit a wide variety of bottles in here. Now the pocket itself is pleated, so it expands quite a bit, but the cuff while elastic does not expand nearly as much as the cuff does. And that's obviously to hold the water bottle tight so it doesn't fall out, but it does limit you to what you can fit inside this water bottle pocket. And also it does press into the pack. So if you were carrying a water bottle in here and using it as your camera um, bag as well, please note it is on the pocket that you would access for your camera. So you wanna be careful of what you're putting in here so it's not pressing against your camera because this flap would open directly to your camera so you can get the camera in and out. So you A, don't wanna have anything that's gonna be putting pressure on your camera and if you're flipping this open you have a heavy water bottle on here it's going to be swing back towards the bag where your camera is housed so you want to be careful when you're opening the flap if there's a water bottle in there and you're accessing this for a camera because you don't want to be smashing your camera so maybe just make this cuff give you a little bit more flex to it and maybe put the water bottle pocket on the non-opening side would definitely be a little bit better of an idea. And that's it for my points of note. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into the positives. And the very first positive is these threads here. These are all artisan made. They have a bunch of different types and styles that you can get so you can really customize it. And the really cool thing is if you get sick of the way your pack looks, you don't have to buy a whole new bag. You can just buy the thread and change the look of your whole pack. So they have plenty to choose from. And again, they do have a plain black one that you can see just has additional pockets on it. So you can actually get a little bit more organization. But if you didn't want the all black, there is a bunch of different threads that you can choose from. All artisan made all over the world. And each of the uh, color options for the threads gives you a little blurb about where it was made and the people or community that made it. And the second biggest thing for me was I had three main uses for this pack. EDC, city bag and beach bag. And honestly, I usually just use this old like Herschel knockoff bag that's real thin, it's pliable, I can load it up, it dries real quick when it gets wet. But uh, I wanted to try something new and different. So I took this with us to the beach and this actually worked out really, really great as a beach bag. And one of the reasons that this really shined was the side access was great. So if I had towels or anything up top, and I was trying to keep the water bottle on the bottom to insulate it a little bit, but I was able to pull the water bottles out the bottom, the sunscreen out the bottom of the bag, and still have all my towels and junk packed up top. And um, it actually fit quite a bit of stuff. I was able to stuff um, three pretty large beach towels in here, and uh, sunscreen, two large bottles of water, um, 
some some beach toys for my daughter. I did have a bigger bag that we put the beach toys in, but there was some other stuff I threw in here. Uh, she carried her life jacket in a little bit, but then I was able to lash the life jacket to the back of the bag, so I had the life jacket lash the bag, and I still had a little bit of space in this pack. So this actually shined really, really good, and I thought because of the thread, I thought this really looked good on the beach itself with the, the Columbia look. I just, I just liked the way this looked when I was sitting on the shore in Coney Island. And I said, in addition to using this as a beach bag, I did EDC this pack and I did wear it around the city. And it worked out really great in both of those applications. The only d downfall was as the EDC, obviously my laptop didn't fit, but if I didn't need my laptop, the bag actually worked really fine. The organization was pretty good. I could have done with maybe one more pocket. Felt like I could have used maybe a quick stash pocket across the top. And because the bag rolls backward, you don't have the option to put it back here where most roll tops would go, because if you roll the bag forward, that's where your quick access pocket would be. But because it rolls backward to show the thread, there could have potentially been a pocket right here, but that's where the lashing strap goes. But overall, as an EDC pack, this thing worked out really well. I was able to fit my entire kit in here, no problems. And again, the only thing I couldn't carry was my laptop. And I said this for the beach bag, but this side access for the internal compartment is really nice because I always like when you have a roll top, if you have an alternative way to get inside your bag, that's always great. Because if there's only a roll top, you only have top down access. So if something falls to the bottom of the bag, I would like to be able to get it a little bit more easily. So having this side access is great. And again, it also doubles over for a camera bag. So your camera cube would orientate this way where you can open it up, get your camera in and out, and you're good to go. So overall, the fit, the feel, the comfort of the bag, how did it handle? Do I think you should buy this bag? And um, it was pretty comfortable to wear. I wore this in several different scenarios. I wore this in the car, I wore this in the scooter, I wore this in the city, I wore this to the beach. I wore it with a t-shirt, I wore it with a button t-shirt, button down, jack, different types of jackets. And in all of the uh, orientations of how I wore it, it felt completely fine on my back. The straps themselves, they, uh, they're not the thickest straps in the world, but they do have a good amount of padding, better than most, and uh, but they still remain pretty pliable. I hate when you have a super thick strap that doesn't conform to the body, because if it doesn't come over the clavicle, it can be uncomfortable, especially if it's a really thick strap. It just kind of sits on top instead of conforming, and it becomes uncomfortable with these. They have a fair amount of padding in them, and they were comfortable to wear. Um, I did not feel stressed in any way, shape, or form when I was wearing this pack. Again, in all the situations I wore it with, all of the different combinations of tops, it felt fine, it was comfortable, it worked great. The access to the bag was really good. You have your side access, so you don't have to unroll or take everything out of the bag to get anything that might have fallen to the bottom or that you packed at the bottom of the bag. Um, it worked great in all of the three situations I used it in. The only real problem I had with this pack was the laptop sleeve being too small. I would like to see this laptop sleeve easily fit a 13 to and 15 inch laptop. So that was my only issue with this pack. But uh, do I think it's worth $199 to $219? Um, yeah, I put it in that price range. I feel like uh, what you're getting for that that uh, amount of that price tag is a fair amount of bag. You're getting a decent quality pack. You're getting a pack that has a fair amount of thought put into it. Um, I love that the threads are all artisan made, so you could change it up if you want to. You're supporting small communities throughout the world. Um, some of these small communities, this is all they do is they make these like hand woven fabrics and things like that. So when a company incorporates that into their product and helps to uh, not only sell their own product, but to sell a product of a small community somewhere else in the world, I think that's really great. And it just looks really great. It's really cool on your pack to have something completely different than you would see on just about any other back. So ultimately, all said and done, do I think that it's worth your money if you're thinking about buying one? Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely think it's worth the price tag. It, the, the bag works really well. Um, again, three different applications that were completely different from one another and it all worked really well. And uh, I like the bag. I like the look of the bag. I like the feel of the bag. I like the fit of the bag. So if you're thinking about it, sure, I'd say go ahead and pull the trigger. It's, uh, I think the price point is kind of spot on for what you're getting. And uh, I don't think you'll be too disappointed with the pack. 
So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night.